Hello and welcome back. Uh, I have here, we're gonna be going over the answer for our question from the other day, and then introducing today's question, which, as I said before, actually builds on this one. But in order to get today's question right, we need to look at the previous one because we're going to be using this information for today's question. So for today, um, we looked at this and I wanted to make it with some, something that was kind of more real life. So we have in the year 2000, the average price of a home in Lehigh County was $100,000. By 2010, the average price of a home was close to $150,000. I didn't want to use the exact numbers because then it would just, I like it, numbers like this that are close, but make sense. So what we were asked to do was to write an equation for the price of a home in Lehigh County as a function of the year. Now that may sound weird hearing it as a function of the year, but what that really means is we're really writing an equation in this format. It's going to look like y, it's going to look similar to y equals mx plus b. So those of you that have already done slope intercept form, you know that y is what your y coordinate is, m is your slope or your rate of change or how much it's changing, your x is your x coordinate, and then the b is the y intercept, which is for us, that's going to be where we start. So the numbers that we have that we're working with, and you, we are going to work with all of these numbers in one way or another. We have the year 2000, 100,000, 100, and 150,000. And we're also told to use these two variables. So the equation that we're gonna write is for the price of a home, P. And then the in the year 2000, so this right here, This is where we start. We're starting in the year year 2000 with 100,000 with $100,000 homes. So, we're assuming if this is a function and if this is a straight line function that our graph is going to start and is going to continue on at a reasonable rate or at a rate that is constant and does not change. So in order to figure that out, there's a few things that I, I'm going to have to do. So I'm just going to erase this quickly. Uh, so first I need to know what my rate of change is, how much the amount of money that homes, the price of homes increase from year to year to year, because I know that oops, I'm going to undo that real quick. The two numbers that I have so far are 150,000 and 100,000. So I know that over this span of time from 2010, from 2000 to the year 2010, that the price of homes increased by $50,000. But this is $50,000 in 10 years. So what I want to know is how much it was, how much it increased in one year. There's a very simple trick to do that. Since I'm using numbers that are multiples of 10, I look, I have 50,000 really divided by 10. If I remove the ones place. And if I move my decimal point over one place, I'm left with that it increased by $5,000 per year. $50,000 in 10 years is the same, is equivalent to $5,000 per year. And since this is over 10 years, I'm going to go back to my equation so I have the price, which is we're starting at $100,000. That's my, that's my y-intercept. That's my B. Your B is really where it crosses the y-axis. That's where we start. So I'm starting at $100,000. 
but I know that for every year that it increases by $5,000. So the equation that I'm left with, I'm gonna actually do this as a text box so that it's easy to see, P equals 5,000 T plus, uh, sorry, I'm hitting the wrong buttons, plus 100,000. So I know that no matter like no matter what, no ma uh, what year it is, if it's going by this same function, that as the number of years increases for each year that we go past the year 2000, that price is going to increase by $5,000. So for the year 2001, if I do, if I put, since that increased by one year, my price would be, oops, I'm gonna switch back to drawing. So if I, if I input the year 2001, P equals 5,000 times one plus 100,000, or the price would be 100,000, $105,000. So I said that it was important that we get this equation correct because we are going to be using that for today's, for today's question. So I'm gonna clear this out and move over. So as you can see, I left the word problem from the 21st in today's question because using this equation, we're going to figure out what should the average home cost and I'm gonna put an emphasis on should, what should the average home cost this year, the year 2020? So if this function, if this rate of change is constant and is consistent, we should be able to predict what the average cost of a home in Lehigh County would be this year. Now, again, this is average price. This is not exact. There are a lot of homes that are going to be more expensive. There are going to be a lot of homes that are less expensive. We're looking for the average price of a home in Lehigh County. And this may change from Lehigh County to Northampton County to Bucks County, wherever. But we're doing this for Lehigh County. And using this equation, we should be able to figure out about what the price of the average cost of a home would be in the year 2020. So remember, you need to use the equation that you came up with last time, that P equals rate of change times T plus 100,000, and how much our price changed per year. So using that equation, I want you to solve for the average home cost in 2020. All right, good luck, and like always, have a wonderful rest of your day, and if you have any questions, you know where to find me.